Hey everyone, this is Dr. Clyde Letsom and um, let's see, a few weeks ago I bought this sensor here. Let's put it up to the screen. Um, now what this is, is that it's an audio sensor that I'll be using with the Arduino. It has the ability to both output analog outputs as well as digital outputs, as you can see there, A0, D0. And I'm going to be using this for a project that we'll be showing in this video. Um, I'm not quite sure what to call it, but I'll tell you what the project actually does. So in the project that I'll be building, this audio sensor will take in some sound. And the program that is on the uh, Arduino or the sketches on the Arduino is going to process the audio signal that comes in. Uh, it's going to take it from an analog signal to a digital signal. And then what it will do, it will tell us what the frequency of the loudest sound that the uh, audio sensor hears uh, at the time. Okay, so let's go ahead and run the introductory credits and we'll get back to um, creating this project. Again, I don't know what to call it, but we'll go ahead and create the project right after we run the credits. Okay, for this project, you're going to need one Arduino Uno, one DevMo high sensitivity sound detection module for Arduino, or something similar, something that can give you uh, audio output, a breadboard, a computer, USB cable, connection wires, the Arduino IDE, tuning forks, or some other device where you know the frequency that that device will create and all of these together will help you put together uh, the project that we're about to do okay so in the diagram on the screen um, we have the uh, circuit set up and it's relatively simple versus some of the other projects that i've done in the past uh, as you can see here we have three wires that are going from the Arduino board to the uh, prototype board or or the vice versa, whichever way you want to say it. Uh, those three wires, one's going from five volts, uh, the other one's going from ground. And we also need to have our analog input, which is actually coming from the microphone, going through the sound detector module. And then we need to send that analog into the Arduino. And so again, those are the three wires that are connected.
Okay, so um, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, sketch for this project. Um, before we start looking at the sketch, though, I do need to mention one thing. Um, you will need to download this um, library here, the Arduino FFT library. And to download the library, what you'll do is you'll go to your um, sketch. You'll go to Include Library. You'll hit Manage Libraries. And what should come up here is a list of different libraries that you can download um, as soon as this is finished here. But I'm not going to wait for that. I've already downloaded the uh, Arduino FFT library. What you can do is once this has finished downloading libraries, go in here and type uh, Arduino FFT.h. In fact, I can go ahead and do it. Okay, that's taking longer than I expected. But you go ahead and type in Arduino FFT.h or Arduino FFT and the library should come up. You go ahead and select it and tell it you want to download it. And once you download it, then you can go ahead and put this uh, sketch into the Arduino IDE. Um, you can grab the code from my website. That's clydeletsum.com. Uh, once you've gotten the code or you type it in, uh, you can then run it. Uh, let me just go through a, a really quick explanation as to what's in the code here. So we have a couple of uh, constants up here. And this constant is used to uh, tell the uh, sketch or the Arduino how many points your FFT uh, will have. That number needs to be a base two number and it needs to be uh, less than 128 or 128 or less is what I should say uh, if you're using the Arduino uh, Uno. Uh, for a sampling frequency um, based on Nyquist, some of you may know about that, based on Nyquist, that sampling frequency net needs to be less um, needs to be two times the highest frequency expected for this project the demonstration that I'm going to do I'm going to end up using a uh, tuning fork that has a frequency of 1024 and so therefore I'm going to double that and say that my highest frequency then or sampling frequency should be uh, 2048 uh, this here came from the Arduino library uh, we have a couple uh, other variables here. We have a couple variables here for the sampling period and uh, microseconds. Then we have a couple variables or pardon me, vectors here that will store uh, the values um, once they've been um, uh, uh, made into discrete values. Okay. Uh, in here, we need to set up what the baud rate is for our serial uh, monitor and for the serial monitor you'll go in here once we are once you're ready for it once you start running the the sketch on the Arduino um, I set it up for I set it up for uh, 115,200 for the baud rate we also need to calculate the sampling frequency or sampling period pardon me and that's done in here now to the actual part that's running so within this portion of the program, what we're doing is we're pulling in the analog uh, signal from the, um, the sound module. Uh, we're going to store that information, uh, the digitized information or the quantized information into uh, this variable. And then we'll wait for a certain period of time, then go back and sample and do the same thing again, continue to do that until we have the total number of samples here. In my case, I'm using 128. Uh, once we've done that, then we go ahead and get the FFT of that and that get, getting the FFT happens within these three instructions here. And then I find a peak value for the um, FFT uh, values that have been returned. And then I print those out to screen and then I wait until the person uh, hits reset. OK, so this is the sketch again. Uh, what I'm going to do now is go, you're going to go ahead and save and you'll do the same thing. Um, I did that. You'll do the same thing. And then you go ahead and hit upload. Okay. So now it's been uploaded onto my Arduino and I'm ready to go. We've pulled up the uh, monitor, the serial monitor to get outputs from the Arduino. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and clear the uh, monitor and then I'm going to use a tuning fork here we go tuning fork this tuning fork has a frequency of 256 Hertz 
And what we're gonna do is go ahead now and tap the tuning fork so that it creates a sound. And we're gonna see what the circuit and the, um, the sketch says that the frequency is. And so let's go ahead and do that. And I also have to hit the reset. All right, so if you look at the screen right up here, it says that the approximate frequency is 259.90 hertz. And that uh, seems kind of in the ballpark as to um, what we can expect given the uh, that we're using the fast Fourier transform and there'll be a little bit of error in there. All right, so let me now go ahead. I'm going to clear this. And oh, I should have mentioned this a little bit earlier. I set the baud rate for the um, the serial monitor to 115,200. That matches what we put inside of the sketch. Okay, um, let's go ahead, as I said, go ahead and clear this now. We're gonna take a different tuning fork. And this tuning fork has a frequency of, it says here 384 Hertz. So we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing again. I'm gonna tap it, hit reset, and let the circuit um, figure out what frequency it is. All right, so according to this, it says 391.81 Hertz. And let's try one more tuning fork here. We have one more tuning fork, that's a 1024, as you can see written right here. I'm going to clear the output so that there's no confusion here. Gonna tap the tuning fork, reset. All right, and so according to this, that frequency is 1015.48 um, hertz. All right, so we have accomplished what we are trying to accomplish here by getting our circuit and the Arduino um, and the sketch that we created to tell us what the frequency of the loudest sound is that the circuit detected.